So you're not, you're not really limited in the number of instances that you use with NDA. Um, you, you're more limited in, in sort of like the complexity of the program. And um, the complexity starts reaching a point where it gets too complex when we reach around 150 objects. And, and this is also, this is kind of like an artificial constraint since, um, as I mentioned initially, MDA is an open standard and is adopted by a wide you know, variety of companies, predominantly for cinema. And to give them some kind of like um, upper limit that they can work with, um, we had to constrain this. Um, it's kind of like an operational constraint so that the implementation, a server in the field is not blowing up because we are suddenly playing 200 objects. That's why we have set that limit at 150, so everything can be played back reliably. Yeah. But, but yes, we, we're using the same idea of, of having bats and having objects, mm -hmm. uh, mostly for compatibility reasons, because in cinema, as you probably all know, um, you have those array of speakers. So even though you have many speakers on, on one side of the wall, they're all um, getting the same signal. So in a 7-1, for instance, you have, I don't know, five sides around speakers, but they don't are not addressed in a 7-1 or in a 5-1 um, by individual you know, elements. They all get the same, um, the same speaker feed. Um, while in object based, and that can have some, you know, some advantages. For instance, that you know, depending on the position of the listener, um, you're sort of like you're, you're always getting um, the, the the same experience, if you will. While with objects, when you move something around, it really depends on where you're sitting in the room, the way you perceive it. If an object is coming from all the way in the front, a listener all the way in the back will perceive it lower in level than someone who's sitting all the way in the front, um, and that's why we thought it makes a lot of sense to give that combination of bats and objects um, to create an MDA program. And Sven, explain what you mean, what you mean like how uh, about there's no limit to the number of instances and how that works. Right, so um, every time there is an instance, a, a track with MDA creator, it only counts as an object when there's actually audio. Um, and we have a way of sort of like um, removing all the silence in, in the finalized bit stream so that we really only capture the audio that you see on the timeline. Just That's for instance, um, in this session, I don't know exactly how many tracks I have going, but I'm using 194 voices. Some of that could be for other things like native voices for um, reverb returns and such. But... Uh, it may be 194 instances of the of that plugin in this session. Right. Yeah. That's the that's a, a, a good example. Um, if you hit play, we have this little object counter all the way right. um, on the right hand side next to the render usage, and that always tells you how many objects are currently playing. It doesn't tell you how many instances you have instantiated because that really doesn't matter. So right now, 35. Yeah. Or... And that gives you a lot of flexibility, so you can spread out all your your elements in a session and you don't you're not constrained to a certain number of yeah, fixed object it. IDs. So yeah, and you see um oh, where's a busy section. It's really not taking that much hit on anything really. <laughs> on the CPU or you know, you see the render usage isn't even going that much. As I saw it go up to maybe 50 objects. So really, it's, yeah, it's just coasting along. It's not really, it's not working hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I can play the session on my on my MacBook Pro. No problem. Yeah, we don't require any any additional hardware. So um, that's we another. That's a very actually nice aspect of it that you don't yeah. have to have this big hardware box outside of Pro Tools. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and the DTSX Creator Suite um, has even one more plugin that comes with it, and that's a headphone, headphone monitoring system. I mean, headphone monitoring system. It's a uh, headphone, um, we call it Headphone X, right? It's a plugin that takes a 714 input that you create with, with this tool, and then you are able to monitor a 714 layout just using a pair of headphones. And that gives you the flexibility of working on your laptop with your headphones and then go on a stage or in a, in a place like this and play it back in whatever configuration you have. And I think that uh, we believe that's, that's quite a, 
um, a powerful tool um, to have. So when you're, when you're done with a project, um, you would um, say select the length of the program. And I would, I would export MDA. And I could, oops, you know, name it, hit save, and then you hit play in real time, it can go down. You can also do offline as well. And it creates a file that you can, that's for the deliverable.